Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker down here at Lust Hills Harley-Davidson, LustHillsHD.com and look what they have laid out for us today, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful fat boy heirloom red fade. Check this out. Now there's a lot more, there's a lot of special to this thing and I want to go over that real quick before we take it for a ride. But check out the paint on this thing. Check out this tank. The special badging, 120 year anniversary. Air cleaner, timing point cover. The painted oil tank, only it's a full oil tank, I know that. And then jumping over here, that massive Bob Fender. Red pinstripe, blacked out on sides, glistening paint. And then on the seat, not only red stitching, but the maroon fabric right through here. All in chrome, including the six shooter transmission. Now, let's go take that hot rod for a ride. Wahoo! <laughs> Harley Davidson Fat Boy in Heirloom Red Fade, 120th anniversary. Let's take this thing for a run. Oh, the torque is amazing. What a bike, what a bike. I love the way it feels. Love the way it feels already. Let's just kind of do a little parking lot stuff here. If you're in the market for a new or used Harley Davidson, get yourself down here to Lust Hills Harley Davidson, LustHillsHD.com. They've got over 100 bikes in this building right here and another 100 bikes in this building around the corner. They are here to help you out. Let's go have some fun. Wahoo! One gorgeous motorcycle. I love the way it handles. Seating position, I'm sitting just about straight up and down. The bars kind of reach to me about as much as I reach to them. My hips and my knees are about level. The heels are slightly ahead of my knees, possibly. They've got the wonderful running boards on this. I love running boards in a bike. This is built on the soft tail frame. And it has the 114 M8, that's uh, 1868 cubic inches. I think horsepower is 95 or 100, something like that. Torque is 119 foot-pounds, that's 161 newton meters. And boy, does it jump. <laughs> Sound is amazing, and these are stock pipes. I think Harley has done something with the pipes this year because from the factory, they seem to just be much more beefier sounding you know a lot more a lot more there right out of the box boy does this thing pull wow at 60 miles an hour we're talking about 2150 that's pretty darn good going down the four lane you are definitely in the wind this is definitely a naked harley feels good i like the wind in my face Boy, that thing sounds good. Y'all hear that? I love it. <laughs> and as always, the torque on a Harley is amazing. Handles quite a bit different than the uh, breakout we were on last week. A little more conservative handling, I would say. Certainly a lot of power. Very good shifting. By the way, there is a gear shifter up here. We didn't get, we didn't get a chance to go over what's in the meter here. We've got an analog gauge for speedometer. We've got the tachometer right now, trip odometer, trip A, trip B. Looks like reserve or range, a clock, and then back to the uh, tachometer. There's also digital fuel gauge in here. Looks like I'm down to about a quarter tank. I love the look here. We've got that beer can front end, all this chrome. I just love the chrome. I love the sound. <laughs> the handling is superb. This has 18s front and rear, and I think the rear one is a 240 section, very wide tire, and you saw the massive rear fender at the beginning. Handling is just superb. I, I kind of like riding it just mellow like this. So much for mellow, my friends. <laughs> she really jumps. I like it. I love the color. The paint is amazing, especially in the sun. Can y'all see that? And all this chrome, my goodness, what a bike, what a bike. And the M8 is also a heart of chrome. This one's done up with chrome pipes, chrome details, all the little bits and pieces, six shooter transmission. Power is superb, absolutely superb. Weight on this hot rod is 699 pounds. That's 317 kilograms. That's wet weight, by the way. Fuel tank is five gallons, I believe. That's uh, 19 liters. I like the way this handles. It's very conservative. It's not near as raked out as the breakout was uh, last week. 
very good traditional style handling. Excellent turning. Amazing how well these things turn. You know, the center of gravity in a Harley like this is so low to the ground. You're almost, you almost feel like you're on a roller skate. You know, it's just... <laughs> hey, let's try the brakes. Whoa! <laughs> it's a single disc on the front. I believe it's a 300 millimeter disc on the front. I'm not sure about the rear one. It's a four piston caliper on the front as well. Excellent modulation. They've just, Harley brakes are phenomenal. That's all there is to that. Suspension on the front has about 5.1 inches of travel. That's about 130 millimeters. The rear is supposed to have, this is a monoshock bike, by the way. The rear has 3.4 inches of travel. That's about 86 millimeters. Oh, is this thing fun. You know, this is too beautiful to, <laughs> to ride like that. It's a very aggressive riding machine when you want it to be, but uh, she's such a beautiful thing. It's probably one of the most beautiful soft tails out there right now. The paint is phenomenal. Wheelbase is 65.6 .6 or 65.7, I believe. That is 1,666 millimeters. Look at this handling, just like on a cloud. This thing is a dream. I think the brakes are linked front to rear. You put a little bit of the front, the rear comes on. You put a little bit of the rear, the front comes on. Seat height is 26.6 .6 inches or about 675 millimeters. Very low and a very comfortable seat. That's something I've noticed this year. I think Harley driver seats on the Harleys this year is that they're all very comfortable, even more so than before. Like I've said before, Harley has made a deal with the motorcycle gods. Their bikes are longer and heavier and all that stuff, but they're also uh, lower to the ground and better handling, and they've got that beautiful V-twin, loads of great sound. Now this is where we usually open it up, but we've got construction today, so we're going to have to kind of take it easy. Very quick, very quick motorcycle. Incredibly responsive. I like it. Boy, does this thing rumble. I cannot believe those are stock pipes. Absolutely amazing. Of course, that six-shooter transmission is fabulous. Very smooth, very positive shifting. And like I've said before, I think Harley-Davidson has done something to make them even smoother this year. But you really know when you're in gear. What a motorcycle. This is rolling art. Absolute rolling art. Let's pull in here real quick. I want to go over some of the uh, switch gear with you all. Okay, I'm going to leave the bike running. We'll put her in neutral. All right, speedometer, analog. We talked about this stuff here. There's a bunch of Christmas tree lights in here, including the neutral light. On this side, we've got the fabulous Harley levers on the clutch, the beautiful elongated oval mirrors. Over here, we've got the information button to run the LCD screen down here. We went over the features of that already. The horn button, the lights high. There's a light down there. Low, and then pass to flashlight. Flash to pass light. Left blinker, and then look at this. Cruise control. You push it in to activate it. Little light comes on here. Down to set it. Up to re resume. Over here on this side, of course, the brake lever, hazard lights, on off button. This is a fob bike, right blinker, and of course, the start button right there. Isn't this just a beautiful place to be? Look at this. Just absolutely gorgeous. If you like chrome, and I do, you'll love this thing. I mean, look at that. Absolutely. Wow. And so much torque. Harley is master of torque and clutch and uh, you know just everything is just right the friction zones on these bikes are mile wide excellent feel and of course they've got these awesome levers everything about this is just incredible including the sound <laughs> i just love the sound that is amazing what they've done with that this year because uh i don't remember being quite so voicey last year all right let's uh Get off this hot rod and get the other camera out and do a little bit of a walk around video. Wahoo! That was an absolutely fabulous ride, an absolutely gorgeous motorcycle. Check this thing out. Possibly the best looking motorcycle I've got out this year, at least in the uh, naked realm. I mean, every little detail of this thing is, wow. You know, just pops in every way. Look at this, 120 year anniversary badging. Special wing on the side. The beer can front end. The amazing paint. Oversized front tires. Those are 18s front and rear, by the way. And then look at this heart of chrome that they've got in here. All the detail that has gone in here. So, you know, from this to this, look at this. Special air cleaner, special covering here. Right down to here, you know, the points cover. I love the way that they've matched the paint on the uh, full oil tank. Jumping over here, you've got the derby cover that's the same way. And more of that oil tank cover right there. Looking at this uh, seat, we've got this 
a little better color here. We've got this uh, maroon on the side here, the red stitching here, and then the gold on the inside on black. And then look at this on the seat right here. Isn't that just gorgeous? And I love this detail through here. And of course this badging right there. They've done an excellent job in all of this. And the thing just glistens in the sun. Shine, sun, shine. I mean, that's just a, a fabulous looking machine, isn't it? Look at this whole rear end. That's a 240 section rear tire, just a mile wide. And look at that fender. You know, this is not a tail light. The tail lights, the blinkers, the stop lights, everything's in here in these bulbs right here. Look at this. This is where you buy your Harley Davidson, my friend. LustHillsHD.com. Check them out. I think the rear brake might be a 300 millimeter disc. I'm not sure about that. It's got to be close. Dual piston caliper for sure, and it is a floating disc. They've got this rigid looking rear end, but it is a soft tail. There's a monoshock in here, and you can adjust that by just reaching down here. So you get a passenger on there, you can do that. It is set up for passenger. Coming over here to the other side of this, I believe this is a 300 millimeter disc with a four piston caliper, and we did try those brakes, and they did work very well. Floating disc, by the way. 49 millimeter forks, 5.1 inches of travel, that's 130 millimeters. And on the back, I think it's uh, 3.4 inches of travel. That's about uh, 86 millimeters. But look at this heart of chrome. Just an amazing thing, isn't it? Just glistening in the sun there. The chrome valve covers, this chrome section here, the milled fin, fin ends here, the tubes, you know, the rocker blocks. I mean, just everything, just chromed up, you know, just done so well. And look at those pipes. And amazingly, they just, they sound so great right from the factory. That's one thing I really am shocked by on this one. The sound is just fabulous. So the engine is the M8, 114 cubic inch, 1868 cubic centimeters. It's got 10 and a half to one compression, and it puts out, we think, between 95 and 105 horsepower. We're not really sure. Um, torque is 119 foot pounds. It's 161 newton meters at about 3,000 RPMs. And you guys saw the torque. I mean, this thing just jumped up and down. Of course, it's got the fabulous six shooter transmission right there. And this bucket has a chrome cover on this end. I love every little thing about this thing. It's my color. I'm a red guy, so, <laughs> you know, this is the uh, ultimate in classic good looks. I just love it. Wheelbase, 65.6 .6 inches at 1,666 millimeter. Seat height, 26.6 .6 inches. That's about uh, 675 millimeters. Fuel tank, five gallons. That's 19 liters. Wet weight, wet weight, 699 pounds, 317 kilograms. You know, and when you're riding this, it just doesn't feel that way. I mean, the center of gravity is so low to the ground on this thing. It's just phenomenal, phenomenal. I love it. And of course the color is heirloom red fade. It's one of the, I mean, the, the fat boy on its own is an amazing motorcycle, but with this paint on here, you know, it just, it's just at another level. You know, every little detail is just done so well. You know, it's just, everything's been covered. You know, everything is, I mean, look at that. This is a true show bike. And look at the size of that front tire. That front tire is a 160-60-18. The rear is a 240-40-18. Just massive, massive. What a piece of rolling art this is. You know, we really didn't talk about handling, did we? Uh, in the garage, it's going to be a heavy bike, but the center of gravity is so low. It's, you know, it'll take a little effort to push it around, but it won't be bad because it's, uh, it's pretty manageable. In the parking lot like this, I had no trouble with it. Um, it does take a little bit of skill. It, it is a large motorcycle. But it's got an excellent clutch and excellent feel that way. As far as getting on the road here, it was phenomenal. This thing is a uh, this thing would eat the city up alive. Uh, it's a good back road bike. I would consider this an excellent uh, two lane black type bike. I could put a couple hundred miles on this easy in a day and just be absolutely in heaven with it. As far as the interstate goes, it doesn't have wind protection. If it had that, I would say it would be an excellent wind interstate bike. It does have cruise control, which is a real good thing. I mean, that's that's something I, I've never owned a bike with cruise control, and I would just love to have that. But isn't that just a gorgeous machine? Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, if you all are in the market for this bike or one like it, get yourself down here to Lust Hills Harley Davidson. Or go to LustHillsHD.com. Those guys can help you out. They've got everything you can imagine here. Now, it's a beautiful day, and I'm going to, hey, wait a minute. I'm gonna go ride that hot rod right there. Y'all get out and do the same. Wahoo. Fuzzy biker down here at Lust Hills Harley-Davidson. That is Glenn on this hot rod, heirloom, red fade, fat bob, 114. Look at that thing, isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. I love the wheels. Wahoo. 
Let's take that thing for a spin.